Hey everyone, we're backstage here at American Idol with Miss LaPorsha, who I overheard 14 hours is hair. Tell me a little bit about, what, did you sleep during it? Did I you? Didn't. Um, not really, but I I just ate a lot and tried to stay up and, you know, yeah, get her done. But <laughs> <laughs> it takes a village, right? It takes it a village. It does, it does. Um, it took my mom, my little sister, and me, so, yeah. But it was worth it, right? It Beauty is worth it. It was worth it. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about tonight. So when we talked to Scott, he wasn't thrilled about the song that you picked. But how did you feel about the night? How do you think it went? You know, I I like it. And, uh, you know, after after hearing me do it in rehearsal a few times, Scott was really uh, supportive of the song choice. And, you know, um, but it, it definitely wasn't my favorite and it wasn't my best but you know i i wouldn't see myself being a, a rock singer anyway but the the lyric of the song is what i really wanted to convey and um it's telling a story and i'm all about you know telling stories um i was in my head a little bit throughout the whole entire performance which is probably what messed me up a little bit because toward the end i i went for this note and it didn't really reach <laughs> but it was okay it happens to yeah. to the best you know so it, I, I didn't take it that hard, but I was a little disappointed. But um, hopefully, America liked it enough to kind of look over that. And my my Sia performance, the Elastic Heart, was was much better in my opinion. Tell me about working with with Sia. I mean, first of all, did you get to see her face and sneak a picture? Because we don't get to see her face. I mean, that would have been viral if you kind of snuck a little. Something. So I did get to see her face. I thought about getting asking her for a picture, but it defeated the purpose. So I was like, no, I'm just going to keep her face in my memory. Um, but her face is beautiful, and um, she's beautiful, and I love her. Tell me about her wig. How was it in person? Did it have, like, a, its own area code, its own name, its friend? I mean, that thing is huge. Her, you know, uh, her wig, she had a bunch of them, and, and, <laughs> and um, it's, it's like a family of wigs, you know, they're just, but they're really unique and really her and I, I applaud her for doing it. If I could just slap a different wig on my head every time I get on stage, I would do it. Or 14 hour day. I would do it, yes, you know, I, but you know, I took the hard route, so. And then lastly, I mean, we found out the finale, we're gonna have Kelly Clarkson back, which is huge, and Carrie Underwood. I mean, how incredible is that to have both of those female powerhouses here at the finale of Idol? I, I've always been a huge fan of Kelly Clarkson, but Carrie Underwood, oh my God, she's like, she's right up there with Fantasia to me, um, as far as, you know, my my liking for her. And it's because she tells stories with her, her music. She's such an inspirational artist, um, and she's just beautiful. She's really, she, she comes off as this beautiful person, and I'm all about energies and spirit, and, and you know, she, she, she seems to have a very pure spirit, so to meet her in person would be an honor, and to have her come back and perform would be just amazing. And hopefully we'll get Fantasia back, right? Hopefully. Fingers yes. crossed. She can take us to church. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. If you want to see the Porsche make it all the way to the top three, make sure you're voting every week on Idol, and uh, we'll see you back next week. Thank you so much.